Hey, how are you guys doing? So we are going to go cover the 10th episode. Of course, if you want to watch us through the main legal source, it's going to be in Crunchyroll. You'll probably need a premium subscription. And of course, we have a poll after this episode. Rank your girls from 1 to 13. 1 being your favorite and 13 being your least favorite. And you can do the same for subunits 1 through 4. The link for that will be in the description. So this episode looks like it's just going to be a chill episode. So we'll have to see what comes, but a training episode or something of that sort. So let's go ahead and jump in. So this episode's gonna start and they officially join the other girls. All the rebirth girls are now part of it. Naju feels a little weird out by that, but the other girls are happy to join. Shinniko tries to hand her application to Setsu, who she thought was the president, but nope. Then she tries you, but she's not also the president, so who could the possibly be the president? So Katsukatsu, ever so kind, interjects and Makes a little note saying the cutest person here is the president. So now just like, me? I'm not the president, am I? A little narcissistic of her, but okay. But she thinks like, I don't know who the heck that is. Everyone's talented. But they spit it out that saying that Kasumi is the president, but we have me things. Nah, she's, she's more like a puppet than a president. So Kasumi, not super happy about this. So she decided that they're going to have a slumber party at Shizuku's place because it's big but she wants to use this slumber party as a moment to really make it known and obvious that she's the president because she feels like that wasn't very obvious so we go jump to that day and she has this flag I guess the guy is saying she's the leader it kind of makes me think of the Wonderland flag that she had but she wants to become the one true president and make it known to everyone else so she creates a plan that these girls will go through for the few days that they're here and do a bunch of activities and she wants to use this to show that you know she's a true leader and everyone should basically worship her or something like this. One notable thing that happens on the side is that Rina hands cut in this little cat thing. Why? Well you'll probably figure out she might be struggling to stay with everybody. Let's say that. So the girls go and do a bunch of things. Nothing too super special but one thing is notice because kind of what's missing and where do they go? Well me finds a baseball stadium because of course but that's a definitely an interesting name baseball stadium I guess we don't have a baseball stadium called baseball stadium in America so I guess Japan's better but yeah so they found a baseball stadium and Mia's very excited you know as she loves baseball but the girls end up firing her because you know that cat had her location being transmitted to the girls because you know of course kind of is gonna get lost the next thing that they do is they're gonna do some volleyball and for some girls, I guess it doesn't go quite as well, let's say. Sorry, but like, I could not not do that. But anyways, if you wonder what the girls on the side are doing, they're relaxing, Kanto, of course, relaxing in someone's lap. While on the train back to Shisuke's house, he's... We see Nanchu seems to be a little sad about something, but she hasn't explained what that is. So then the girls arrive at Shidi, uh, Shizuku's house here. And they're like, wait, we're having a slumber party? I've never done this before. And then they're like, oh, well, don't, hopefully you didn't forget her pillows. Well, of course Kanata didn't. She brings her pillows everywhere with her. Because of course it's Kanata. Imagine her being without a pillow. When they get into the house, we see Ophelia, which is Shizuku's dog. So it's nice to be able to see her dog. And we also do get to see Shizuku's mom. And she says one whole line. But there you go. Another Niji mom that we get to see. Then the girls have some meal. I think there's like a lot of sushi in there. Looks pretty good. And then girls play some games. We have Katsumi playing Jonga. Definitely no relation to Jenga. And let's just say the game she plays doesn't go so well. So we see Kasumi sad that she can't win anything and we also got to see a little bit of Ayumu's snake which is his Sasuke. Not sure what she's doing here but okay. Sasuke's here. Of course we had the bed ruling scene. I guess a few people will be disappointed if I didn't show you guys the scene. So yeah. There we go. And then we get to see Mia get to interact with Ophelia and let's just say she isn't very acquainted with dogs. And then, of course, the girls go to sleep, and Kasumi is up to no good. She puts on her bucho headband, which means president, and she is hyping herself up for the next day, 
So the next day they have this game that they're going to go around catching a bunch of these cats on their phones. If you recognize these cats, these were actually from last year. They had the April Fools for 2021 where they had a girl become a cat. So these are all the cats that they had set before. So if you couldn't figure out which cat was which girl, I had I still have the video from the April Fools to show you each individual one. And of course the two new ones would be Mia and Dunju. And Mia's all the way on the left, of course, with Basil Head, and I think Nanji's all the way on the right with the pink cat. So basically, the goal is these girls are going to catch cats like Pokemon Go. They call it Niji High Go. And I think they use the second opening song and make a game like for the song. So, anyways, the girls will have to go and catch them all. So the girls go and they try to catch some cats, and some has some luck, some not so much. And of course, Kasumi is really sad and annoyed that she can't catch anything and she's like I got to because I will be amazing and everybody will love me but she actually splurted that out to these girls and is like whoops I mean never mind but these two girls see her go but then she did because like I, I keep seeing you want to do something what is that and that was that I just, she just wants to take a photo of all the girls so I guess the first thing to do is take a selfie together but they they find the cat so isn't that lucky but the winner ends up actually being you, and what does she want for everyone else to do is that she wants them to write lyrics for a song, 12 girls all in song. So we'll be able to do that, but before they start and do that, they all think Kasumi, President Puppy for this. So let's go ahead and jump to the song, which actually is Love You My Friends. <laughs> So that was Love You My Friends, that was actually the second group song, and I guess we got a 12 person version of it, although it's really hard to tell the difference between the two versions. But yeah, that's what we have, and we get to see the girls take the group photo that Lanju wanted, so good for her. At the end we have this final scene, where we have Kasumi sprinting saying we have big news. Of course that seems very familiar when we had Hanyo did that, but when she had those announcements out because Love Live was going to be a thing and these girls going to participate in I don't think that's necessarily the case because I mean Love Library exists unless there's some major shift or something like that so I, I imagine that wouldn't be the case I would rather something else but who knows maybe some other big news maybe school's shutting down I don't know <laughs> I swear if that's what's going to happen I'm going to be kind of annoyed but for now we just have to wait and see what that is the preview for the next episode I'm not entirely sure what's going on just a few scenes, but nothing seems to really give me any good guesses on what that could be. But it's the past, the future, and now. So... I don't know. And it doesn't re I don't know if that's necessarily a rebirth episode either. It doesn't seem like it. They didn't do an obvious rebirth kind of name or pun or something like that in the name of the episode. So I guess not. Unless rebirth... Is referring to the past and that present now but I think that would have made it a little more obvious like maybe something like point to their only group song which is monster girls so I'm gonna have to go and know because all the other episodes kind of did that but as for this episode we have to think that or the next episode they're gonna talk about whatever the heck that big news is I don't know we, there's still a few things that we have not got to explain, like how does Shidiko become the student council president, or is that just not a thing anymore? You know, that's probably one thing that's missing. But beyond that, I don't really have too much of a guess, because that's kind of a lot of the big points that we had for the All Star story. They there was kind of they had a, the addition with uh, Shidiko's older sister. Kaoruko, it was a school exhibit exhibition. That might be it, but I don't know, beyond that, I don't have any good guesses. So if you guys got any good guesses, let me know what you guys think in the comments below for that. And of course, let me know what you guys think about this episode. Nothing crazy exciting. We got to see the April Fool's cats show up, which is pretty cool. We got to see Love You My Friends, not animated, just an insert song. 
I guess it's better than nothing. And I don't have a 12 person version, but it's also kind of with piano. Cool, I guess. I don't know. But I guess that's in there. But overall, just a chill, mellow episode. Goofy one, nothing crazy. All the girls are now part of the club. So that's nice to see. But let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comments below. What did you like? What did you not like? And what is your predictions for the next episode? If you guys got any good guesses, of course, let me know. And if, of course, it would be great if you would participate in the poll. I put a link in the description below. Participate in if you wanted to. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And hope to catch you guys in another video soon.